So in today's video, I wanna share with you the Facebook ad strategy that all the big brands use to generate millions of dollars a year. And I wanna show you step-by-step step how you can set up these same Facebook ad campaigns for your own business so you can turn your Facebook ads into our money-making machine. Okay, so as you can see here, we are in the Facebook ad manager, okay? And your ad account may look a little bit different um, especially if you've been running ads before, you'll see all your campaigns. Now, if you haven't ran any ads at all, you will see nothing here, but I wanted to already build out the campaigns that you need so you can see it in its entirety. And as you can see, there's only two campaigns, okay? That's how simple Facebook ads is, especially in 2023. You don't need a whole bunch of campaigns and complicate things. It is not deep at all. I promise you, I've managed millions of dollars just running these two campaigns, as crazy as that sounds, okay? And as you can see here, there's one that's a prospecting campaign and one that is a remarketing campaign. All prospecting means is that the audience is cold. They don't know who you are at all okay and a remarketing campaign is a campaign that's going to retarget people that have already interacted with your brand okay that's the simplest way that i can explain it but these two campaigns is your bread and butter now before you create these campaigns and i'll walk you through that first things first what you're going to want to do is create your facebook pixel none of this works if you don't have your facebook pixel on your website and so to set that up all you need to do is go to all tools right here in this uh, top left corner and then you're going to select events manager now once you select events manager it's going to say create pixel now depending on who is hosting your website if you're using something like shopify it's very very easy to integrate I definitely recommend that you use Shopify, especially if you're in the e-commerce space. Um, I have a link down below. They have a super dope promotion going on where they're only charging you charging like a dollar per month for like three months. So if you are in e-commerce, definitely use Shopify. If you're not using it, it just makes running ads and everything so much easier with the analytics in the back end. I don't want to get too far into that, but you get my point. Now, if you're not using something like Shopify, then it may be a little bit more difficult to set up your Facebook pixel, but most major platforms like Bluehost and WordPress and Squarespace, you know, have some type of Facebook integration. So it's not deep, but you definitely want to make sure that you set that up ASAP before you do anything else. Okay. And then once you have that set up, you are good to create your first campaign. And the first campaign that I recommend that you set up is your prospecting campaign. Again, this is a campaign that's going after a cold audience, okay? Well, since I've already created it, I'm just gonna open it up to show you what's in the campaign itself. So as you can see here, there's campaign level, there's ad set level and the ads level, okay? At the campaign level is where you select your actual objective. Now, since I've already created this, you're not gonna see the other objectives, but None of the other objectives are, are important. You want to select sales. If you want to make money with Facebook ads, you need to use sales. Okay. Do not select any other objective um, unless you don't want to make money. All right. And so from there, what you're going to see is advantage campaign budget. Now here, I didn't turn it on. That's my bad. Okay. But you definitely want to turn it on because all advantage campaign budget does is spread your budget across your ad sets, which is where you target people. And it's going to spread your budget to the best performing ad set. Okay. Now that may not make a lot of sense right now, but it will in a few minutes, okay? That's all the campaign level is really good for is selecting that, okay? But moving along, we get to the actual ad set level, which allows you to do targeting, okay? And this is where your Facebook pixel comes in at because this is where you're able to select your conversion event, okay? And again, if you wanna make sales, you're gonna wanna select purchase. All right. And that's pretty much all it is. Now, if you're not in e-commerce, if you're not selling a product, if you're trying to get leads, then you would select leads. OK, or you could do like completed registration. That's another one that a lot of, you know, business owners that want leads use. 
but this is what you're going to select for your purchase event. Okay. And then moving along, you can select your budget here, your start date, your end date. Okay. And then you move on to your audiences. And this is really the most important part of your ad set level. Now, as you can see here, I named this broad targeting because this is an audience that you're going to go after. You want to go after a completely broad audience. You don't want to put any interest in here. And surprisingly, a lot of times Facebook will find the perfect audience for you. I have a lot of campaigns to where people put no interest targeting and the campaigns do well because the creative is so good that it does, you know, the targeting for you in essence. So for a broad interest targeting, you don't want anything in here. Don't put anything in detail targeting. Keep your age range very broad unless you have a product that you know you know, is between the ages of 25 and 55, or, you know, it's skewed to male or female, right? But um, if you don't have any of those gender, you know, specificities, oh, that's a big word. <laughs> but if you don't have anything, you know, that is super specific to your product, then just leave this all blank. Make sure that you put your location in here. And then that is really it, okay? I do recommend, um, you know, trying out advantage placements which is automatic placements before um try that out now make sure once we get to the creative that you have enough creative to fit all the placements but if you don't know you know what placements you can actually choose in platforms a lot of people don't know that facebook and instagram is the same thing when it comes to facebook ads you can run on both i mean if you don't want to run on facebook or if you don't want to run on instagram then you can turn these off but I found more times than not, Facebook is going to optimize based on your creative, what's going to give you the most results. So most times I don't touch it unless I know specifically I want to be on a specific platform. Like if I'm, you know, uh, let's just say I have a clothing brand, then, you know, I'll be on Instagram primarily than Facebook. So if you have nuances to your product to where you know you know, you'll have better results on Instagram or Facebook than choose that. But overall, most products that I market, I just leave automatic and let Facebook do its thing. And then moving away from broad, you have your lookalike audiences. OK, now this is really dope. You can take your customer list and tell Facebook, hey, I want customers similar to the customers that I've already had, right? Which just makes it a lot easier, you know, to convert buyers because Facebook already knows, you know, who's gonna buy from you. So they're gonna find more people like your your buyers already. That's the simplest way, you know, to explain lookalike audiences, okay? And you do that by going here and selecting create new, and then you can select custom audience and lookalike audience, okay? Now, to create a lookalike audience, you do have to create a custom audience. So some of my favorite custom audiences that I always make are like website visitors, uh, a custom audience from my customer list, etc. But it's very simple to do. All you have to do is click this button, create custom audience, and then it'll show you how to create a lookalike audience. It's very, very easy, trust me. And then the last, you know, audience that you want to create interest targeting. This is where you can go here and type in something like sports, right? And it'll show you all the people that are interested in different sports. So if you're talking about sports cars, sports clubs, sport games, sports in general, you know, obviously you want to be a little bit more specific. So let's just say football, if you selling cleats or something like that. So you can really get super detailed on, you know, who you think you want to target based on their interest. And so this is where you want to put some of these interests in here to go after. But these are the three top audiences that you want to go after. Very simple. Um, and by using the advantage budget, you know, campaign optimization, or I call it just campaign CBO budget optimization. It'll actually spread your budget out across the best performing campaign. So you're not wasting money on an ad set or audience that, you know, is not going to buy from you. All right. Okay. So now we're at the ad level. And as you can see here, you see three ads. I recommend starting off with three, at least three ads. One being just a static image, 1080 by 1080. 
you know, square one by one, something simple, nothing too crazy. I've been having at least two video creatives, 15 seconds or less. Okay. Now the reason being that you definitely want to have a video creative is that you can also, when you get to your remarketing campaign, you know, retarget people that watch the video, which is something that a lot of advertisers do, but video creatives work very, very well to get people, you know, through your funnel, through your ads. Uh, but you definitely want to have at least three creatives. Okay. Now, if you don't know what creatives to actually use or what creative work, let me know in the comments down below. I'll try to make a video on the, you know, best high performing creatives that you should use for your Facebook ads. Uh, cause if I got into that, this video would be way too long, but essentially this is where, you know, you want, you know, this many creatives. And then as you can see here, this is where you can name your creative. You can show what Facebook page you want people to see, and then you can do a carousel. You can do a single image or a video. You can even use your catalog if you have that uploaded to Facebook. So that's super dope. Gives you a lot of options there. And this is where you put in what we call your copy. So your headline, um, you know, and your primary text. So you can see, you know, what your actual ad will look like. So just to show you, I'll just upload an image. Okay. So I uploaded this image, select next. It's going to show you, you know, what the crop will look like. If you do one by one, it'll look like that. If you do nine by 16, it'll automatically crop it for you. If you do one by one or one nine, one by one. So I'll show you what all the placements will look like. And then if you're happy with that, what you're going to want to do is select next, hit done, and then boom, it'll show you what the ad preview will look like on the right hand side. So it'll show you all the previews. Once you select a page, then you can put in your text. Okay. So now let's talk about remarketing and remarketing is one of the easiest campaigns to set up um, because it's very, very simple and you only really need one ad set. Okay. Um, unless you're getting a lot of traffic to your website. Okay. And again, with remarketing, what you're going to want to do is also select sales at the campaign level. Um, and if you want, if you have a lot of audiences or custom audiences that you want to go after, then by all means, you can set up the CBO or advantage campaign budget. But since majority of people will only have one ad set, that's all you really need. So what you're going to do is select that ad set. Again, you want your purchase event to be um, purchased or your conversion event to be purchased because you want sales, you want money. And then from there, what you're going to want to do is input your custom audiences. Okay. And some of the best custom audiences that you want to put in here are your website visitors, people that added to cart, um, you know, people that initiated checkout. If you have a product to where people can purchase from you over and over again, like you have a consumable product like a lipstick or beard oil or something like that to where you can remarket to your same customers, put your customer list in here. Like these are all audiences that you can go after. And again, you know, all you have to do is select custom audience and pull all that data from your website once you have your Facebook pixel installed. So that's very, very simple and easy. And then everything else you don't need to touch because you're gonna pull from that custom audience. Um, so you'll be totally fine. And then again, advantage placements, automatic placements, you're good, you can leave that the same. And then also you wanna switch the creatives a little bit. I found that for remarketing that static images just convert better. I'm not sure why that is. Now that may not be true for you, but I recommend again, a, at least a three creative um, setup, two being this time static, one being a video. And you wanna make sure that these videos have your best offer, okay? These are people that have already seen your brand, but they didn't buy. You know, you wanna let them know that this is a limited time offer. You want FOMO, like all the things that get that final push to buy. And again, you want that video on the best converting ads just let me know in the comments down below but this is the setup all right and that is pretty much it obviously this is super simplified but i just wanted to show you that you don't need like a hundred campaigns in your facebook ad manager to get started 
This is literally as simple as it gets, and this strategy can make you millions. So if you have any questions, make sure that you comment in the comments down below. I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Um, make sure that you like and subscribe. Until next time, be easy.